Hi, this is a phi ratio bifilar Tesla coil. It's made of speaker wire. Why is it phi ratio? And I mean PHI, not pi, but phi. Well, there's a hole in here, and that hole relates to the outer windings as 1, 2, phi. I made this call because I wondered what the ideal ratio was between the uh, hole in the center of the coil and the windings itself. I made this uh, by drawing a pentagram and uh, drawing a circle around the inner crossings and a circle around the outside. And the ratio between the outer circle and the inner circle is as 1 to phi squared. This phi ratio coil has some uh, nice qualities to it because it's not only capable of uh, creating a mag magnetic vortex which I uh, see as a spinning field just like uh, Ken Wheeler uh, explained but it also can make a ring toroid around the, the coil itself and a ring toroid is a, th a different field configuration that has different properties because all fields are ether fields so the magnetic field is a spinning ether field and the ring vortex is also an ether field all, all, but with different properties it was I can create a resonance in this coil that has no magnetic properties but still has voltage as a sine wave and the sine wave when it uh, is maximum and minimum it also becomes zero that means there is no energy in the dielectric field anymore so if the, the energy is gone it can't be gone it has to be transformed and with normal resonance the energy is transformed into a magnetic field in, and you can you can show this by deviating a compass needle or using a gauss meter at its resonant frequency the ring toroid there is still a voltage that you can measure you can see the sine wave but there is no magnetic field component that's rather special because that means there is a third field hey that's new how do we create this this uh, third field resonance uh, you do it by creating back EMF. This uh, dielectric uh, instant energy uh, we can use uh, because it's like a very intense pulse, very energetic. And uh, if you pulse a coil with back EMF pulses, uh, then you get a resonance uh, that doesn't have magnetic properties. This research isn't done in universities, isn't done in schools you can do it at home just like me just use the biggest tool we have our minds or even better our hearts thank you for watching I hope I inspired some people and I will continue working on this and uh, see you next time bye